watching West Harford Community Television. You're watching West Harford Community Television. You're watching West Harford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Hi, this is Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This month on Inspired Success, we're going to begin a series, yes, a series on one of my signature programs, Money Power. That is the spiritual dimension of financial success. Like I always say, there is more to making money than meets the eye, and money hasn't left the planet. And I'm sure you know the obvious, that there are more and more and more and more intangible things and factors, you know, several more, other than hard work and sound financial planning that impact and influence financial success. So over the next few months, I don't know how long it's going to take, I'm, so I'm not going to put a time frame to it, but over the next few months, we're going to be really um, looking at this 15 in total, 15 critical time-tested, time-proven principles guaranteed to attract and build financial well-being. I want to really encourage you not to miss any of the broadcast and also to make sure that you invite a friend to tune in because there'll be a lot of valuable information really that will truly revolutionize your, your financial life. And um, I would also want to encourage you to take notes during this um, during the broadcast and really kind of take it as a time of real learning and studying together because we're going to wrap up the the um, the broadcast um, with a, a, a viewers reception as well as a seminar and I'll be giving away prizes to those viewers who come and um, pr prove the fact and show the fact that they have been conscientiously following the broadcast, you know, by, by showing their notes. So I'll be giving you prizes at the end of it all. So be on the lookout um, for that and um, for more information on that. So really, yes, we're starting, like I said, on the spiritual f dimension of financial success. Like I said, there is more to making money than meets the eye. There are several other um, intangible factors that impact financial success, like I, I, I mentioned earlier. Other than just hard work and um, sound financial planning, like we've been told, you know, there are many people who work hard, who manage their money well, you know, who have um, invested properly, but are broke today. And uh, there are many who are in debt today, you know. So it's not just about hard work. There are factors such as inventions, ideas, visions, dreams, beliefs, um, opportunities, timing, and, and favor, influence, and that, that go to, um, to, to impact uh, financial success. So we're going to be going um, straight to one of those principles today, the connection principle. 
And that is really kind of the foundation for all the other spiritual or intangible principles that impact financial success. The connection principle. So I want to first of all start by, yes, um, you know, defining what connection is. What does connection speak of? And, um, you know, I looked into the dictionary to help me out. And there are three things that um, connection talks about. The first one is about relationship. Connection means, you know, to be linked to or to be associated with or be in relation to somebody or something. So that's the first definition of connection. It's that uh, association or relationship with another person. The other thing that connection speaks to is a circuit of um, communication. You'll have to forgive me today. I have a bit of a cold, so, um, you know, I know my voice sounds a bit um, hoarse and, uh, hot and all that, so, but you'll forgive me. I hope you can still kind of understand what I'm saying. So the second um, thing that connection speaks to is a circuit of communication. That is a network. You know, I, I mean, you can, uh, the analogy would be like a telecommunication system, you know, where, where they have a network and uh, an outreach in, uh, you know, that's broad. That speaks of your connection so that you can talk to somebody in maybe Chicago or somebody in China because you have a good connection. Okay, so that really speaks to our broad, our network, and our reach. And the third um, definition of connection is in relation to our power source. You know, we, this time I'm going to use the analogy of an electrical um, um, out outlet. So, you know, the connection to that power source that propels your, the, an equipment to run, that, that propels it to function, you know, we talk about connection. That's the contact, the contact that we have to a power uh, generating equipment that propels us forward. So there are three key things here that um, our connections kind of speak of. Number one, I talk about its relationship. That is um, the persons or the we are in relationship or in association or we are linked with. Number two, it talks of, of our network and our reach, you know, how far we can reach and how broad our network is. And the third is in re reference to the kind of power and influence that we can generate uh, and to propel us forward. Okay, so those are three very um, important and very crucial um, things that um, our, our connections kind of speak to. So now, how does um, have our connections impact financial success? You know what I say? This is what I say. Show me your connections, and I will tell you where and how far you're going or not going. Listen to that again. I'll, I'll give it to you again. Show me your connections, and I'll tell you where and how far you're going or you're not going. Okay, and this is how it works in relation, uh, this is how our connections work in relation to financial success. Number one, our connections will determine how much opportunities come to us. You see, because the, we said that connection is, is your network and your reach. So the broader your network, the broader your reach, the broader your chances of making deals and contracts and business and other opportunities that would impact your financial success. The second way that connections relate to our financial well-being is that remember that people are gatekeepers. I call people gatekeepers and door openers and bridges. You know, it's people who are in charge of your promotion, it's people who are in charge of, 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 your, of the contract that you're looking for. It's people that are in charge of jobs. You know, people are really in charge of this universe. That's the bottom line. So at the end of the day, the more people you're connected with, the more people you know, then you, you, the more your chances of getting that job, 
of getting that promotion or getting that contract. Do you know that 80% of the jobs are filled before they are ever advertised? That's the, that's the statistics. 80%, that is 8 out of every 10 jobs are filled before they are ever advertised. And how are they feel Through word of mouth. You know, it's filled internally through word of mouth, through somebody telling somebody and the other. And so your connections also determine the kind of access to information that you have. And then lastly, it would also impact your influence and your, 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 your visibility and your prominence. And of course, we know that the more visible uh, you are, the more prominent, the more notoriety you enjoy, the more it's good for you in terms of marketing and in terms of advertising and in terms of growing your personal brand or your business brand. So, you know, we've, we've now kind of seen the, the, how um, connections, how our connections impact financial success, what they, what they speak of. They speak of our network and our reach. They speak of the power and the influence we generate. And they also, it also speaks to our, uh, to our relationships, you know, and, and to the number of people we are in relationship or in association, in association with. So this kind of really, um, you know, makes us understand how very important connection is. Now, they're go I'm going to the three types of connections that you must make to begin to experience um, financial success in your life. One of the first uh, um, connection to make is what I call the upward connection. That is your connection with God, you know. That is the divine connection, the supernatural connection. And then the second type of connection you must make is what I call our outward connection. That is our connection with one another, your connections with people. And then there is a third type of connection that must be made, and that is connection, I call it the inner connection. That is the connection within yourself, the connection to your authentic self, your true inner self, your connection with your passion and your purpose and the real authentic you, the core of your being, you know. Those are the three important kind of connections that must be made. Now, let's talk about the upward connection, the God connection. Can you just imagine for a second just being connected um, to the almighty God, you know, the one who is in every continent, you know, he's omnipresent. He's everywhere. He's in China. He's in Japan. He's in, in Africa. You know, he's in South America. He's in North America. Can you just imagine being connected to such a person? Can you be con imagine being connected to the power that kills and can make a life? The one who has the hearts of kings and, and queens and presidents in his hands. Can you imagine being connected and being in relationship to the Lord of Lords and uh, the President of Presidents, you know? I mean, can you just imagine for a second, you know, how much power you'll be wielded, how much influence you will have? You, I mean, your connection will be totally, totally limitless, you know? And so that, that, that is one important connection that we must make in order to be able to kind of advance and, and move forward in life and succeed. The other connection, like I said earlier, is our connection with, um, with, with other people, you know, our connections with each other, with people, you know. And so in, in, in talking about our connections with, with people, uh, I, I want you to begin to ask yourself, a couple of questions. I've asked yourself one or two questions. Number one is how many people and in what cities do I have strong um, connections? And I want you to write it down. How many people and in what cities do I have connections? You know, strong connections. Do I know people? And also, where are these people located in terms of their career? That is, in other words, what are the quality of my connections? Are they, are, they, are they powerhouses that people like call powerhouses, people of influence, 
write it down, especially if you're somebody who, you know, is, um, you know, seeking for opportunities either for work, you know, seeking for t opportunities either for business. The third kind of, um, the third question I want you to address is that, what about my divine connection? Is it secure? Is it loose? Or is it non-existent? You know, what, what, I, what I'm thinking about now when I'm thinking of that divine connection is like that electrical uh, output that I, I talked about, that electrical plug, you know, you know how, 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 how well is it plugged in? How plugged in are you into the divine, into, the, into God, you know? Is, is that connection very secure? Is it deep? Is it intact? Or is it shaky? Because, you know, if, if the connection is shaky now, I mean, it will, there will be little or no power generated. The equipment won't function. Or is it non-existent at all? Is it loose? It doesn't exist uh, at all. You know, that's something I'd want you to also answer. That's a question I also want you to answer. And then the fourth question will be, how can I leverage? How can I truly leverage all my connections to achieve success at work and in life? You know, how can I leverage all these connections that I have? Both my, my, my inner connect, my, my outward connections with different people in dis different cities, and how can I leverage my divine connection? and begin to use it to my advantage? You know, these are really important questions to really examine. Like I said, today on the broadcast, we're really talking about um, money power, or we're talking on money power, which is from one of my signature training programs, and it's the spiritual dimension of financial success, and um, it's a series that's going to last us till whenever it, it takes us, for how long it takes us, but, um, you know, today we're looking at a foundational principle out of that um, program, and it's, it's, it's the connection principle. And so far, we've, we've defined what connection is, how it relates to, to our, um, our, our relationships, our network, and our power base, our influence. And we've also looked at how it, it, it influences um, success, financial success. We've also talked about, you know, the divine, the upward connection, which is the connection with God. We've talked about our outward connection, our connection with one and with your, with people, and then the inner connection is, like I said, the connection within yourself. And so that's the third kind of connection that needs to be make made. And you know, to, we need to begin to connect because many of us are not living our authentic lives. We're not connected to our real selves on the inside. We're only living a shadow of our lives. We're, li we're living a life that we, we think we should believe in, you know, not a life that we are designed to, to live innately, you know, and until we really begin to connect with that purpose, that passion, that inner self, we'll not ex experience excellence and we'll not be living a life of power and we'll not be living, like I said, yes, a life of excellence. And you know how excellence living your authentic life, and how living a life of excellence will impact your financial success. Because you'll be at your best. You'll be in demand. You know, you're living your dream. You're living your passion. You, you'll be full of joy, you know, and you'll be really good at what you're doing. And it's just a question of time that the, the blessings, the financial blessings will begin to flow to you. So those are the, 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 the critical um, um, connections we must made, make to experience financial success in our life. The upward connection, the outward connection, and the inner connection. This is really where we're going to wrap it up for today because, um, you know, the next time we want to now talk about how to establish and build these powerful connections. So how do I establish and build connection with God? How do I... Uh, um, establish and build connection with people, you know, and how do I establish and build the connection within myself also? And that's going to be what we're going to be talking about next time. I have um, a valuable resource that I want to really truly um, recommend to you on this topic, on this subject that we're going to be talking about, and it's a book. 
And this book has been written by my friend and mentor, um, Toye Ade Ademola. He's based in Houston, Texas. And um, it's a phenomenal book. It's called The Seven Secrets of Bible Made Millionaires. Seven Secrets of Bible Made Millionaires. You really need to get a copy of this book in your hands because in this book, he looks at um, many Judeo-Christian um, characters, you know, from the Old Testament, from the Torah, you know. So, um, and you know how successful Jewish people are financially. And so, you know, he looks at David, he looks at Abraham, you know, he looks at Solomon, and he looks and really exposes the secrets for their financial um, um, well-being. And, um, you know, this book is available on my website at royalproclamations.com, www.royalproclamations.com. Um, you know, you, you check it out and, and see. And I also want to, before I close the broadcast, extend an invitation to you, my viewing audience, to join me on the road for um, some of my upcoming events. On October 20th, Tuesday, October 20th, I'm going to be at um, the Bishop's Corner Senior Center at 9 a.m. in the morning for us. What, uh, for my uh, stay, it's called the Staying Alive um, Workshop. It's a one hour program that really just expounds the principles for feeling and looking younger. The word alive is an acronym that spells, you know, the five principles, appreciation and activity, love and forgiveness, you know, into introspection, and visions and dreams and empathy, you know. Those are the five principles we're going to be looking at. It's going to be fun. We go, our theme song is Saturday um, Night Fever, uh, Staying Alive from Night Fever album by the Bee Gees. So we're going to really be dancing and having fun. So I want to invite you to that. You can find more information at www.royalproclamations.com. Um, also, on November 14th um, of this year, 2009, obviously, I'll also be hosting a Ladies' Prayer, Power, and Praise um, breakfast, or more like a brunch, at the West Hartford Congregational Church in South on South Main Street in West Hartford. You know, that's another principle of success we're going to be looking at uh, much later, the prayer principles. So join me and other women, you know, for this nice brunch, a time of prayer, and spiritual renewal, and networking and fellowship. And um, you'll be really glad that you did. So anyway, this is uh, it for today. Um, there's more information, and you can sign up for my monthly e-newsletter at www.royalproclamations.com. Don't um, forget to um, recommend and, uh, this broadcast to a friend of yours to check out the resources at my website, upcoming events, uh, as well as other training, coaching, and speaking programs. I look forward to seeing you soon. This is um, Princess Bola Adilani, the Total Success Coach, minding you to keep learning. Keep smiling, keep believing, keep on keeping on. You're on the winning side. I'll see you next time. Take care. God bless. Bye.